Hi again. Um, there goes 31 minutes of recording down the drain. Um, I think I ran out of time, like out of all storage space on my laptop just then. Uh, so today I want to talk about um, a little video game series called The Suffering. I think this series needs a full reboot and it needs to just come back and try again for new consoles. Because other games have done that, like Splatterhouse, and that did really well. It could have done better, but you know, they didn't do something like go all out with graphics. If they made it look like, what is that one game where you're literally in hell and there's, uh, agony demons the agony demon video that was actually um that was put a put in a very unsavory corner of the internet i mean who can blame you there was uh they were right there nothing covering them i mean she was a demon, she had like a shark face, but who cares? Anyways, um, that game, that game is hell. It, it's literally hell, and it's the, uh, most, um, the most brutal depiction there is. Like, there's no depiction of hell in a game that is more in depth there's a better word for in depth but I can't think of it right now it's stupid that I can't think of it but I can't so I only have like 30 minutes to make this video so I better um, yeah but that game is awesome and Splatterhouse is also awesome so I'm sure if they made Splatterhouse like that game that I can't think of the name of um, it would have done a lot better if they just tried like a lot more with graphics there was so much growing room it's just someone somewhere along the lines was like no we're not paying that much <laughs> but the suffering could make a comeback like Splatterhouse made a comeback for the switch you know Take the suffering, put it on the Switch or Xbox One or PS4, and I'll be happy. Update the graphics a little bit. Maybe just make it all over again and make like the smallest changes as possible. Maybe make only one true ending. But put the suffering on new consoles because it was an amazing series it looks amazing I've seen a few playthrough videos but I never got to play it okay so here's the thing the suffering came out for the original Xbox in 2004 I went to a game shop I don't know if it was GameStop or Walmart. Either or, I went to GameStop or maybe Walmart, and I picked up The Suffering, and I went to my mom, I was there with her, I think it was just me and her, and I was like, can we get this? This looks really cool. And she said no, she was probably thinking I was too young. And I said that as I was showing her the wiki page for this game. And I, I said that uh, you probably thought I was too young. And she was like, yeah, you probably were, 2004. I'm like 22 now, so how, how old would I have been in 2004? Uh, anyways, um... There was a second game, but we'll get into that later. I'm 
I'm all over the place. I'm trying to make a point, but my brain's melting because I deleted 31 minutes of a recording. Um, <laughs> I'm actually getting a stress headache because I'm trying to make a point, and my brain is just like, nope, no, you can't think. You're not going to think. You can't think at this moment. That's a no-no. <laughs> um, but I'm glad that the suffering was not a Xbox exclusive. It also came out for the uh, PS2 and the computer. So, it's not on Steam, sadly. <laughs> but... I might be able to find it for PS2, and if I do, then I should get that, because Ashley is wanting a PS2. The point I was going to make, I was just going to tell you guys the plot of the game, because I've not told that yet. So the plot of the game is this guy named Torque. It, it's a very 2004 game. Um, so this guy named Torque gets arrested for suspicion of killing his wife and his two kids. He doesn't remember anything. He blacked out. But the evidence is too much. He was there. Like... So he gets arrested. He gets sent to this prison. This crazy maximum security prison on an island off the coast of Maryland. And once he gets there, there's this earthquake that um, puts the whole prison in disarray. The bad prisoners are out. The good prisoners are just trying to not get killed and hiding. And the guards are getting scarcer and scarcer because... I mean, wouldn't they? Take a wild guess what everyone's trying to do. Everyone's trying to live. Everyone's trying to get out. And to make matters worse, there are creatures in the prison now. Like some sort of demonic who knows what has gotten all up in the prison. There are these guys with machete-like blades for arms and legs, and their heads are not part of their body, they're like held up with pins, and those are the guys you meet at the beginning of the game. <laughs> the further you go, the crazier they get, and the nuttier they, they look. The more, um, like, okay, you guys remember Cry of Fear? Imagine Cry of Fear, but the guy developing the game was taking acid. That is the suffering from the videos I have seen. That is literally the suffering. And then there's Ties That Bind. The second game is called The Suffering Ties That Bind, and it's even worse. But like, I don't want to say too much. I want you to go look at videos for this game. I want you to decide for yourself if we should just bring this back, because it was a gem. It was an absolute gem. And, you know, I never got into, like, gamer magazines that told all the new games coming and was, like, giving news about everything. So, um, yeah, but I never saw actually any Xbox original game advertised. Any of them. Never seen any of them advertised. The 360 games, yeah, 
quite a few of them. Pretty much all the Splinter Cell games I've seen advertisements for. Um, Skyrim, obviously. Dark Souls, obviously. Um, and Xbox One games. I've seen those kinds of advertisements, but I never saw any ads for Xbox Original games. And there's just one thing. Like I said, I'm so glad that um, The Suffering wasn't an Xbox exclusive. There were games for the Xbox Original that were only for Xbox Original. Two of them being Memorick's, uh, Memorick Knight's Apprentice and Blowout. Both of those games I spent hours on throughout months. I played the heck out of both of those games. And then my Xbox got the red ring of death and it was it was gone that's all there was to it it was gone why did they even make xbox exclusives like the guy that developed the original xbox and produced more of them he was just like oh so this thing that we have made it's prone to machine failure, and there's a scarcity of parts, and it's eventually going to be uh, a burden on our uh, wallets, and we're going to have to come out with another console that's the same thing but a little improved. Yeah, sure, whatever. Make some games that are only for this console. <laughs> What could possibly go wrong? Oh yeah, they could all die. I'm pretty sure there are no working Xbox Originals left anywhere. And there are... I don't know how many games. No telling how many games. That can't be played in any fashion anymore for that exact reason but those are two of them and I really did enjoy them and I didn't get to beat them I didn't have enough time my Xbox just died too soon there were a lot of games that I um, had for the original Xbox that I didn't beat uh, thank goodness that some games, you can port them over to the 360, and I did, I did, um, I ported over a Japanese game called Genma Onimusha, it's about a, uh, a ninja in, like, Edo period Japan, um, he's keeping his town safe. He's basically going on to save the world, but he, um, he has been plagued. This whole place has been plagued by demons that are also bringing back the dead. So you got demons and zombies, and the hope of humanity I think it's on that big of a scale. I didn't beat the game yet. I'm I'm still trying to. I still play it sometimes. Um, but all that hope is in one ninja. And his name is Samonosuke. And did I mention the Emperor's daughter has been kidnapped? And that's kind of how the game opens up. Now, the game opens up with this warlord from who knows when getting resurrected, and he's, like, 
whoever's in charge of this, the demon in charge of this whole thing, uh, this warlord is the demon's pawn. So, yeah. It's, uh, I absolutely love this game. It's also for PS2, I think. So, if you want it, it also, the game also is known by the name Genma Warriors. So, that's a thing. It's the exact same game from what I um, have read, uh, but under a different title. For some reason. I don't understand any of it, but uh, that's a thing. Absolutely love that game. But it was Xbox Original, and there's just this title update that allows you to play it on a 360. So, that's great. And there's another one Showdown Legends of Wrestling. Has a bunch of. Uh, older generation wrestlers on it, and it's, uh, like, WWE, WCW, um, what's the other one that was, it ended with a F, um, but all those guys are in this one game, and it's a wrestling simulator. That was a lot of fun. There's some glitches, and a lot of the um, people in the game are the same model, the same body shape, and everything, but different skins, so you can tell that they're different wrestlers, but if the models didn't have a skin and it was just a blank model, then a lot of them would look exactly the same. But that was a fun game. I absolutely love that game. Um, I gave it to Ashley recently. Haven't been able to play it. Do I regret that? Uh, not really. It didn't take up that much of my time anymore. It wasn't that hard to give away. But yes, the suffering looks amazing. And I'm not going to know what it's like unless... Ashley does get that PS2, and then maybe I'll get to play it when I'm over there. That's, uh, looking like a nearer and nearer future. Kayla has just informed me. Kayla's the one that wanted to move to Ohio and take me with her, and eventually we would get Ashley and uh, we'd all be in Ohio then. Um, but... Kayla has found a different idea, um, and this part of Ohio is like 200 miles away from, uh, the part of Ohio where, uh, my roommate was, so we wouldn't even, it, it would have been fine, but Kayla found another idea for some reason. Um, me and her are going to Michigan. So, the same city that Ashley's in, so Ashley doesn't have to move or anything, well, eventually she'll move in with us once she gets rid of the Guardian. Um, but yeah, that is looking like a sooner and sooner uh, idea. So, I mean, hopefully I'll get to go over there. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm not filled in on the details or anything. Uh, Kayla's been through a lot. A lot of stuff recently. So, it's not, um, not a good time for her. But, uh, she's taking it well, and I'm happy for her. And we're all gonna be a big happy family, I hope, <laughs> so, yeah, the suffering looks absolutely insane from the videos I've seen, I love the ideas, I love the story, I love 
Torque. He is like... He looks like Wolverine from, like, older comics. Isn't it weird that Wolverine, before um, Hugh Jackman took up the role of Wolverine, Wolverine looked like Hugh Jackman. Before Hugh Jackman got involved, Wolverine looked like Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Okay, I'm getting close to that limit, apparently, so I'm gonna sign off. Um, maybe tomorrow I should go on a deleting spree and delete the videos that I have stored on my laptop, because I keep a lot of them. Well, I keep all of them, and then get rid of them later, put them on my Google Drive or something, and I don't know why, I just kind of, I do it, I don't know. I'm quirky like that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, tomorrow is what, exactly? Tomorrow is nothing, because it's Monday. Okay, I forgot my own schedule. I forgot my own schedule. So... I'll see you guys Wednesday. What is Wednesday again? My books. Oh. Well, I guess I kind of have some updates with the uh, Spider-Man story. So, I'll see you then. And, uh, yeah. How are you guys liking the music? Do you want me to try a d another song? I just found this video, it is, did I say two hours long? Yeah, two hours and 48 minutes. But, uh, it's almost over now. <laughs> it's like a little more than halfway, um, because of that screw up. But, uh, anyways. I encourage everyone watching this to watch a playthrough of The Suffering. Find like a part one of a playlist series where they go through the game and make like little short videos of them just getting from one part to another and watch part one. I suggest you do that. Just to get a full taste, because it looked so good in the videos that I saw. So I'll see you guys Wednesday, I guess. And uh, hopefully there's no more surprises, like there was before I uh, had to redo this video. By the way... There's a video on my Google Drive, it's also on my phone, it's 4 minutes and 40 seconds, and it's 572 MB. How did that even happen? How does it take up that much space? It's so short. It's a very short video. How does it how it was? <laughs> but but yeah, that is a thing. I've been trying to uh, put it on a certain website, and uh, it's not working because I can't um, email it. It's too big to be emailed. I can't uh, send it through. Uh, Facebook Messenger, because it's too big for that too, I can't scan it for viruses through Google, because it's too big for that. I tried to download it onto this laptop, and my laptop turned into a brick for like a few minutes. I had to hold the power button to turn off my laptop, because my laptop wasn't doing anything. I managed to get back to the home screen, but the home screen was blinking every now and then. It would just go black 
and yeah, and the icons for all my programs were not loading. I have no idea. When I turned it back on, it was absolutely fine. I just had to delete the um, obviously corrupted video that I downloaded. So anytime I tried to download it, that happened. I have no idea what it, what, it, why any of that happened, but uh, I have no idea why it's that size. Is four minutes and forty seconds exactly? And why would it be that big of a file? It's huge for what it is. So, uh, give me some suggestions as to what to do because my laptop is basically. Full. It is bursting at the seams with files. It's just... It complains to me all the time, like... Critical uh, update can't be downloaded because there's too much stuff on this laptop. And I'm like, I know. I know. But, but I can't... There's nothing that I don't, like, use all the time, so... I can't do anything about the storage being full. So, yeah, um, anyways, I will see you all Wednesday, and I, I don't even know where to go with that, where to begin, uh, is for another video, I guess. Another video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you Wednesday. Peace.